So I wanted to take you through the steps that uh, would be, well, one way that you can create a dialogue system in Unity using Playmaker. So um, I've got an example here just to show you what we'll end up with more or less. Um, and you can see the, the branching tree structure here in Playmaker. And each one of the states uh, represents one of the characters either speaking or choosing an answer. So the idea is that the player will choose from, in this case, three options. And then depending on which one they choose, it will lead to a different uh, outcome, a different answer from the other player. So let's test it out. And we can just keep an eye on the Playmaker code. So we've got two characters here. She said, what's your name? Then you get the chance to choose an answer. Um, if I chose number two, then it goes back to a different answer. In this case, it's going to loop back to the start each time, so we can try out different things. So I'll try number one this time, and again, we're sent back to the start. Uh, if I choose the correct answer, then we go on to the next stage of the conversation, where she asks a different question. So again, we can choose from three answers. Two of them go to a negative outcome, and one goes to a positive outcome. And this is the, the positive. So that's a very simple rendering with uh, not much going on. I've just used some characters downloaded from Sketchfab there. Uh, but it should give you the idea. <clears throat> the first thing you need uh, for a dialogue system uh, is to write your script. So uh, let me just open up one that I prepared earlier. This is just an example. So using the standard script formatting, um, you can create your script for your characters to talk to each other. So in this case, we've got um, Amber is the player character, and Perseus is the non-player character that she meets. So when she walks up to him, he's going to say, hello, how are you? She's just going to, and then you, you can choose from three options. So for the player character, you need to list all three possible dialogues that she, you, your character might say. Uh, and then we can see the arrows linking to the different options. So if you choose option one, it's going to go down here. If you choose option two, it'll go there as well. And if you choose option three, it'll bring you to the positive outcome, which then leads to another set of options. So it's kind of like a recurring loop in a way, but just e each time you get different options to choose from. And the answer that the non-player character gives you will be different depending on which one you choose. So simply uh, the arrows follow along, along down until you get to the end of the conversation, which could be a negative outcome. So you might, um, the non-player character might decide to stop talking to you based on what you've chosen, or maybe you get some useful information, or uh, the, the NPC might give you an object that you need to use in the game, or maybe you have to give them something to advance the storyline. So there's lots of different options, um, and it's just you have to be a bit creative in how you're going to tell the story and uh, how it's going to fit in with the gameplay of your particular game. All right, so this is the script that I'm working from. Um, I've already set up Unity with a scene and two players, so we don't need to go through all that again. I'll just open up the scene so we can see. Um, I just want to show you how to set up the Playmaker script. So I'll close that one. And what we have is a kind of old style village scene, forest surrounded by water. And we've got two characters who are kind of fantasy figures 
uh, or medieval style characters. So let's have a look. If we test the game now, you can see this is the non-player character. And I have two cameras in the scene as well. So I'll just switch the other one. are on the same depth level so that's the player character so that's amber and perseus um, and you can see i've added some text here uh, i'm going to show you two ways to do this the first way is just by using um, the user interface text and the second way is by loading different scenes for each of the options in your branching system so every time that one of the player uh, one of the characters speaks then that would be in a different scene or the other option is you could keep it all in one scene and every time someone speaks it's a different state so i'm going to show you both ways to do it we'll start with the playmaker method uh, which would involve using the user interface text in Unity. So like we were doing in the last class actually, where we use the user interface text to display the score when you collected the coins. So we need to in insert a UI text. And remember I, I said if you're using Playmaker, make sure that you don't use Text Mesh Pro. It should be just the normal text. Okay, for the UI, because Playmaker doesn't recognize Text Mesh Pro yet. Um, so just use the normal text for UI for Playmaker. And then we just need to reposition the text so that it will appear on the screen the way we want it to. Um, so let's see where that is. It's down there on the bottom left corner, very small text at the moment. So I'm going to increase the size. You remember if I put it up to 150 and then I change the overflow settings, uh, then we can just resize it in the scene so that we get much better quality text. I'm going to change the color to white so we can see it properly. And I'll move it up and across. So I'll just put it in the middle like that. Okay. So that's going to be our conversation text. Obviously, you can spend more time making it look pretty. You can choose different fonts. Uh, you can put backgrounds behind it. But for now, I'm just focusing on how it functions. All right, so we've got our text set up. Um, now we need to create what's called a dialogue manager. Okay, so go into game object, create empty, and rename this one to dialogue manager. So it's just uh, it's not a physical object, obviously, um, but it is part of the scene and it's where you're going to control what happens so that the player can choose different options. Okay, so we'll create a new state and this one will be called idle as usual. Um, and then we want to create another state 
which is going to be Perseus 1. Uh, or, sorry, let me see. Amber 1. Yeah. Because uh, <clears throat> the conversation is going to start with Perseus. He's going to ask the first question, as we can see in our script. Hello there. Where are you going today? And by the way, um, I would recommend if you're doing it this way that you just create a new dedicated scene for the conversation. So, you know, don't try to have the conversation during the gameplay, you know, just pause the gameplay so you're not able to still walk around. Um, it's not necessary. And for the project, the dialogue is an important part of the game, so it's better just to have a dedicated scene so that you're not able to wander off while the character is talking to you. Okay, so in um, state one, we want to put Perseus's text. So the text is called set UI text set text. All right. And we're not using the owner, so we specify game object, then um, drag in the text that you created, and then type in what you want it to say. Okay, let's see if that's working so far. So the text is displaying for us. Let me just make sure. Do I need to reposition it? Yeah. Maybe even a bit higher. Put this down here for the moment. So <clears throat> we've got the first line of dialogue. Uh, at this point you have two options. You could ask the player to press a key to go to the options. So like you could say press space or press C to continue. Or what usually happens is um, the question might stay on the screen for a certain amount of time, like a few seconds and then the dialogue would automatically go to the options. So that's what we'll do here. So we can use another action called wait. Just click on that, and you can tell it how many seconds to wait. So we're gonna go for three seconds, and we will send a finished event. So let's just create, create the transition finished. And once three seconds has passed, we'll go to finished and connect to the next state. So in state two, we're gonna change the, the text so that we can see all of Amber's options. So let's paste that in here. And we'll copy uh, all of those. Into there, okay, and I think I'll just take out the word option so we just have the numbers. And then the obvious thing would be to let the player choose whichever number they want. So press one, two, or three to proceed. Okay, let's try that. So the game starts. 
hopefully. And we get Perseus's dialogue for three seconds, and then we get the options. Okay, so that's good. <clears throat> Uh, so this is where it gets kind of interesting because we can create um, as many transitions as we want to go to the next set of options. And as we know, if you want to create your own transition, you just go to the events tab and then type in the name of the event and press enter. So I'm going to choose one, two and three. Those are going to be the two, three options that we can choose. So let's go add each of those as a transition from this state. And each one will go to a different state. Well, two of them will go to the same negative outcome, and the third one will go to a different state. All right, so if we just look back at our script, we can see <clears throat> if we choose option one or two, it's going to go to Perseus saying, OK, goodbye then, and the conversation will be over. So let's uh, do that first. Add state, which is Perseus. Goodbye. You can name your states whatever you want. So I'm going to connect one and two to that one. And I will paste my UI text. And we'll copy the script that he's going to say. Um, and I think it would be helpful just to put his name so we know he's talking. We can do the same at the start here. Perseus. And also for Amber. All right, let's see if that works. So if we press one or two, uh, nothing will happen yet, actually, because we need to <clears throat> use the get key action okay so if we press the number one which is keypad one or alpha one then we're going to send event one we don't need to store the result and we can copy that and paste it two more times in the same state but number two for the second one, and number three for the third one. Okay, So that means when you press the number one, it'll go there. Press the number two, it'll go there. And press the number three, it's going to go down to a different state that we haven't created yet. So let's add the next state, which is Perseus uh, directions. Okay, So we'll call this one Perseus directions and we'll connect number three and let's um, go back to the start once we get to the negative outcome so we'll use the wait script again copy that and I'll paste it in there too so it, he'll say his line then it'll wait three seconds and just go back to the start so you get another chance uh, if you want to choose a different option. So let's see how that works so far. Okay, let me just move 
move it down for at the moment so we can see. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're on state two. If we press number one, it's going to go to there and then it'll go back to the start again. If we press number two, and let me see, maybe I didn't, put, oh yeah, I forgot to change the the key that would be sent for these, so they're all set to alpha one, so I need to change this to alpha two, and this one to alpha three. Okay, let's try that. Press number two, and this time I'll press number three, and it goes down to our next state. All right, so we're on to Perseus's second line of dialogue, which is, that's nearby, need directions. Let's copy that. <clears throat> And we can stop that for a moment. So we can use the, actually we can pretty much copy both of these because we want, um, we want to use both of these actions in this one. And we need a finished transition. And the text is different. So again, it'll just wait three seconds until it gives you the options. And I think we can copy the whole state, actually. Let's see. Here we go. So again, the second round of options, there's only going to be two this time, so we can delete the third one, connect finished to this state, and we'll just rename this to amber2, and the options are both of these, so we'll copy those in to our text. Press one or two to proceed this time. Okay, and we don't need the third get key down, so we can remove that one. Alpha one, alpha two, and they're going to go to two different outcomes. So we can copy this state now, which is, again, a negative response. Copy that one, paste it. And this is going to be Perseus saying goodbye again, but for a different reason. So there we go. Copy that one. So answer one is going to go there. And the text is different or the same actually so it'll wait three seconds and it's going to go back to here so we don't need to go back to the very start it'll just give us another chance to choose from the second set of options you don't have to do that if you want to actually leave the conversation then you can just load the game level back up again but for a demonstration today I'm just going to connect back to the each set of options so you can loop back and uh, choose a different option the second time around 
So number two, we need to connect state two to another state, which again is Perseus. If we check our script, um, his second option is the positive outcome, where he gives her some useful information. So I'll copy that one. And we will copy this state, paste it down there. And we'll connect number two here. And we'll call this one Perseus information. Just so I know what it is. We'll change the text. And again, he's going to wait. And we'll have one more set of options for Amber. Copy that one. Paste. And you can see you can go on for as long as you want. This is only a simple short conversation with uh, three sets of options. But in your game, you might want to have more, depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to put copy these two. We'll connect that one there. And Amber's options. This is Amber 3. We'll just paste in those two options. Press 1 or 2 to proceed. Okay. So if, uh, let's see, I think I'll just add one more, which is a thank you, goodbye. Uh, actually, we can just go back to this one. So both of these can go back here. Uh, let me just change that. If you want to change the transition target you can do it from the menu i want to actually go back to here perseus goodbye one so let's go there and same for this one so that means the conversation will be over but it'll just go back to the very beginning then looks a bit complicated we've got a lot of different states but it's very logical, really. You're just connecting the different possible options that the player might choose, and then they lead to different outcomes. And you can have as many of those as you want and connect them in different ways. So let's test this out now and see if it's working. Okay. Now we have three options. Okay. And okay, so it's all working pretty well. Uh, another thing we can do is add some sound. So I've got some recordings of the dialogue done earlier, just using synthesized speech. So we'll just add those in now, so we get kind of more of a, a feeling of what is being said. So we can import uh, the recordings into a new folder. Audio. And I'll just import those, they're mp3s. go back to our dialogue manager. So on the first state, we want to play sound, which is Perseus 1. So I'll just drag that in to my audio slot. And now, hopefully when we play the game, we'll be able to hear Perseus speaking. Hello there. Where are you going today? 
in a kind of robotic voice. All right, so that works pretty well. Uh, another thing we can do is switch the camera. So we can see he is talking, so we probably should see him rather than Hello there. her. Where are you going today? So I'm going to switch the camera over to look at him when he's speaking. So let's go camera. Set camera. Set main camera. Yeah. Okay, and that will be... Let me just check. This one. Yeah. So it should be... In this case, girl camera. Let's see. Hello there. Where are you going today? Um, and we also need to make sure that they're both the same depth. Otherwise, they won't um, work properly. Hello there. Where are you? Let me just put that one. <clears throat> Hello there. <laughs> uh, all right, let me just check here. Put both the same depth. Normally, if you put the depth up on one of these, the other one would be um, in front. So, like if you're doing your overhead map. Hello there. Where are you going today? Oh, something very strange going on here. Hello. The camera is not working at all for some reason. Close this for a second. Hmm. Okay. Finally. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We've got the first camera, and we're going to switch to the second camera then when we get to Amber. 
so she can say her line. Um, okay, copy this. Actually, we'll use cut to camera for the second one. And I'm also going to activate the second camera. Activate game object, specify, and then drag that in there. And we'll cut to camera. Put that down at the bottom. And drag that into the slot. So what should happen is it starts with one camera and then switches to the other. So that worked pretty well. Um, now what I need to do is figure out where to play her dialogue. So actually we might need to add another state before we get to Perseus. Um, or we can wait, we can play the uh, the sound and then wait before we go to the next part. So I'll just add all of Perseus's lines of dialogue first. Copy that one, paste it in here. And Perseus 2. <clears throat> And then Perseus 3 is this one, I think. And this would be number 4. And finally, number five. Hello there. Where are you going today? That's nearby. Need directions? <laughs> Hello there. Where are you going today? Okay. Goodbye then. Got those mixed up. Sure, it's the grey house behind me. Alright, so I think I need to switch this one. Number three. And this one, number two. Hello there, where are you going today? That's nearby. Need directions? Sure, it's the grey house behind me. Okay, goodbye then. Alright, so that's all working fine. Now we need to do Ambers. But, as we know, um, if uh, we press the key, it's going to go straight to the next state at the moment. So we could, there's two things we could do. We could play her line first and then wait um, and then play Perseus's line and then wait. So let's see if that works. Might work or they might play them all at the same time. So we'll see. Copy that and we'll paste play sound of amber one and we'll wait copy paste should be three seconds what's our line again let me see <clears throat> oh yeah. Hello. 
Hello there. Where are you going today? None That's of your nearby. business. Need directions. <laughs> so that didn't work very well. All right. So we actually need another state to play her sound. Uh, let's remove that. Remove that. Let's see. Add one. And we need <clears throat> all of these. Let's go play sound, show text, and wait. Then we can copy, paste them all. Uh, oh, I missed one there. But let me see. Go amber one. So option one is going to go here first, state one, and then when it's finished, then it will go there. So it's going to get even more complicated. Let's see if that works. Hello there. Where are you going today? Okay. Goodbye then. That didn't work. Let me see what happened. <clears throat> Alpha 1 should go over here. None of your business. Play sound. Wait. Let me just save. Hello there. Where are you going today? Okay. Goodbye then. Hello there. Where are you going today? Hmm. Something not working. Oh yeah. Because we have an error message. Uh, let's put the text. Now it should work. Hello there. Where are you going today? None of your business. Okay. Goodbye then. Perfect. Hello there. All right. So we're getting there slowly. Now we need another state. I'll copy this one. Paste. And another one. One for each option that she says. So option two is going to go to state two. Option three is going to go to state three. State two is going to go back to Perseus goodbye. And state three is going to go to Perseus directions. All right. State two should be amber two. State 3 should be Amber 3. And we also need to change the text. So I'm on my way home for number 2. And I'm looking for Roslo's house for number 3. And I will switch the cameras as well. So we've got looking at Perseus there, looking at 
amber and we should be still on amber for these two and then here we should be back to Perseus again so we'll cut to camera one right let's see hello there where are you going today none of your business okay goodbye then hello there where are you going today i'm on my way home leave me alone okay goodbye then Hello there. Where are you going today? I'm looking for Roslo's house. That's nearby. Need directions? All right. It's all working. Um, we would just need to do the same then for the second options. So let's go down here. And we also need to change the camera here. So I'll just do that. Cut to camera one. Same here. And here. And we already did that one, I think. Yeah. And for Amber, we need to cut to camera, the other camera. Alright, so we need the same states again. Copy, paste. Only two this time. <clears throat> so this will be Amber 4, Amber 5, and here we'll go to state 4 and this one will go to <clears throat> state 5 then this one will go over here and this one will go down here <laughs> it's like spaghetti all right now we need to change the text as well so amber's option 1 here is that one And here is this one. Perseus, Amber, and finally, copy the same state again over here. Six and seven. This one is going to be Amber six. This one is Amber seven. The text are her last two lines, two options. And So we just redirect these targets to 6 and 7. 6 will, and they'll both go to the same place, which is back here. Now, that's quite a lot of states. But uh, yeah, that's why it's called branching. It's like the branches of a tree, or the roots of a tree sometimes. Uh, let's have a look. Hello there. 
Where are you going today? I'm gonna be sick of hearing that. All right, just a second. I'll keep this open too, so we can see all of the actions happening. Hello there. Where Do we need to dialogue this long or we can simplify it? Well, this isn't very long. This is only four sentences, you know. Hello there. Where are you going today? None of your business. Okay. Goodbye then. Hello there. Where are you going today? I'm on my way home. Leave me alone. Okay. Goodbye then. Hello there. Where are you going today? I'm looking for Roslo's house. That's nearby. Need directions? No. I'll find it by myself. Okay. Goodbye then. That's nearby. Need directions? Yes. That would be very helpful. Sure, it's the grey house behind me. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Okay, goodbye then. Hello there. Where are you going today? Okay, I think we've seen enough of that. <laughs> yeah, you get the idea. Um, it basically just follows the same pattern, and you repeat. And you don't have to do all the things I did, like... Um, but uh, it, if you're doing it this way, you will need to set the UI text and give the player an option of which button to press to choose which option they want. Um, and if you want, switching cameras works pretty well for two dialogue characters situations. Um, you can also do this, as I said, by loading different scenes. But what that means is uh, in your assets folder, you're going to have this many scenes because for each different conversation or each different part of the conversation, you need to load a different scene. So you could put them all into one folder, like say have a dialogue folder and just save all of the scenes in there. And the action that you would use is just load level. Uh, as we've seen before, you just type in the name of the scene that you want to load. So instead of connecting everything in one scene, like with Playmaker, you can just have two states, uh, and then on the second state, you load the next scene. Okay. So it's like when you go through a door and then you load the next level. It works the same way, but every time the, the players say something different, it's in a different scene. So it's really up to yourself how you do that. There's also some uh, dialogue systems available to download that work pretty much the same way as this, but they you don't have to connect all the states yourself. But it doesn't take that long. Like I mean, this only took about half an hour. And you're just copying and pasting the same things over again and changing the important details. And once you've done one of them, you can just copy the whole thing. You know, you can go to your dialogue manager and just use that again. And then all you have to do is change the text. So it's pretty straightforward, very logical. Um, and it is required to have dialogue with different characters in your game. All right, uh, I don't really have time to go through the loading different scenes option, but I think you get the idea. It's, it works the same way, but just loading scenes instead of different states. So we'll leave it there for today. Um, thanks for listening, and have a nice weekend. Uh, and I'll see you next week.